welcome back to Crazy Dave's Crew. I'm Laura, and you're watching Mail Call. I am still a subscriber to two of the Annie's Kit Clubs, in addition to the block of the mystery block, which I have fallen very short on. I am sorry. So that'll be a project in the next few days, I think. But meanwhile, I got my woodworking kit, and this time we are going to work on a marshmallow launcher. It's got everything you're supposed to need, including some paint. And I did learn from some mistakes in the first one. Got a marshmallow launcher. And I've got a tape measure. And a Phillips head screwdriver. That'll go into my little toolbox with my hammer from the last time. I am looking forward to these. And then I've got my farmhouse kit. So the Farmhouse Craft Club, this time around, I'm a little behind on these, so bear with me and give me some forgiveness, but we have some little bunny placemats, and I think these were supposed to have been for Easter. So like I said, I'm just a little bit behind. But my kids have graduated. They've taken the ACT. Hmm. I think I'm going to have a little bit more free time. So, yay. And then I have a new one. Apothecary at Home. And I am excited. I've been wanting to learn about herbalism. I've been wanting to make some remedies and have them be a little bit more natural. Less chemicals, more natural. Uh, I like the idea of homeopathic but it always just seemed too hard you know it's just too hard well i do believe with this kit the apothecary at home and i love the box ready set grow this one and this is this month's is for musculoskeletal health and they, they call it musculoskeletal musculoskeletal magic and because this was my first box I also got the welcoming booklet and what I did like is apparently there was something wrong with one of the pages so Shannon sent me a PDF with anything else that I needed I'll have to just print out the pages that I need to and just staple them in so that was really nice I liked that we got some ooh, loose leaf tea which my son from mother's day he bought me one of those teapots it's like a percolating tea uh, teapot so i can put my loose tea in the little metal container and then the water will go up it's wonderful i'll have to show it to you oh maybe during it try it tuesday coming up hmm we'll put a pin in that i like that idea oh this is nice i got a little print of a plant may have to frame that and start putting up again around my walls or something or put into a notebook that's nice I got my jars everything's so nicely packed too but I love that I don't have to go out and buy jars for this I got a drawstring bag for using I got some beeswax not sure why I need some of these things, but I guess I will find out. Oh, I got some seeds. Comfrey. I got a few seeds to, to grow some comfrey. And this says blue pop blue poppy bath and body. Again, I'm not sure what it is, but or how I'm gonna use it. So we'll find out. It's a sore muscle rub. Are you prepared? I like that. Yay. How cool. I think I'm going to need a bigger tube of that, though. And I got the herb of the month is comfrey. And this is... Symphytum officinale leaf. 
for external use only. We're not going to open that up. So I've got my jars. I think that's just some things to protect. I got plantain herb, and it's a leaf, two ounces. I got chickweed. Oh, this is a mystery bonus herb. I got chickweed. And then I got some little, two little tins for making things. So, this is going to be really exciting for me. Uh, I found a place where I'm actually taking a class. I'll have to keep you all updated on how that's going. I'm going to put everything back in. But these are some of the things that I'm doing. And I can't be the only person who's wanting to go more natural. And guys, this, this is not magic at all. This is just heritage. This is the, the old wise women, you know, from years ago that would make the, the remedies. And it's it's fascinating to me to be reading through some of this and find out what helps. I have a funny story to tell you. It was a, I don't know, a few years ago. My son Nick, he, the one who designed my logo, he came out and said he had a headache. Well, David and I were being very bad parents we had this overload of bananas and we looked and said you know why don't you eat a banana it'll help well a little bit later he came out and said y'all were right it really did help David and I looked it up did you know bananas help with headaches yep bananas help with headaches so we were telling him the right thing but we didn't realize it we thought we were being so clever with you know psychosomatic messages because when he was that young, I didn't want him taking a whole lot of Tylenol or, or something. But it turns out we told him the right thing. Now, I am going to put all this stuff together. And we're going to put those videos on the new channel, DIY Dave and Company. And I am excited about that new channel because we're doing a lot of gardening, doing some uh, things around the house. At a greenhouse, we've got a composter which I'm not sure if it's really working. But he's got a bunch of pallets that he can maybe make something with. I'm wanting to do some canning because we're going to have so many tomatoes and so many zucchinis and uh, we won't know what to do with them. So I'm really excited about that coming up, how you can make some of your own food and, and store it, preserve it. So that, uh, again, I'm... I'm very excited, and I love the fact that I'm going to have more time to do it. So, I've got my some apothecary things to mix up and learn about. I've got some really cute placemats that I can make. And I'm sorry, I like bunny rabbits all year long. Uh, one regret of us having a stray cat hanging around and giving birth, and we've got kittens is that the bunnies that were living under one of our buildings uh, has gone the little chipmunks that were living you know by this tree they've kind of moved out so I do miss the I miss the bunnies and the chipmunks a lot don't miss the raccoons though I mean they're cute and all but they killed some of our chickens a few years ago so I don't like them that much anymore but a marshmallow launcher for me to shoot at my kids <laughs> yes if I catch them lounging around and doing nothing I'm just gonna come in there and pop pop them with some marshmallows they'll probably enjoy that I will bet you little Dave will sit there with his mouth open wanting me to shoot him see if I can shoot him into his mouth bet me on that so I have a lot to do to keep me busy along with my mystery blocks and as you can see I've got some projects started for my quilting so I am going to be very busy but I'm going to be so happy with it because an hour sewing is so much better than an hour of washing dishes. <laughs>
but it's going to be a fun summer and with it being as hot and humid as it's already getting I figure I'll be spending most of the day inside uh, early morning late afternoon early evening I might will be able to go out uh, the heat and everything really works over my MG which June is my Aesthetia and Kravis Awareness Month so I've got some stuff to do and to get busy on don't forget to check these out on DIY Dave and Company to see how everything turns out and don't forget to come back to Crazy Dave's Crew. You can find us on Facebook at Crazy Dave's Crew uh, page. Uh, we have a group for sewing and crocheting for beginners. And I do believe there's a page for DIY Dave and Company. If there's not, there will be one soon. So I look forward to seeing you back again. Keep your fingers crossed that I can do these things and do them well and it's all about the learning. Remember, it's not the destination, it's the journey, and I'm gonna have a grand time. I hope to see you next time right here on Crazy Dave's Crew. Thanks for watching. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun.